All right, guys, so I'm here at this huge paddock. I've got my 3D printed RC mesher smith, and in this Ultra RC video, you're gonna see it fly. So let's crack right into it. All right, now before we actually fly this thing, I just wanna give you a bit of a backstory of what I've already done to this plane. So let's just see me two days ago. Let's try this thing out and see how it works. It's getting dark, so we better do it nice and quick. But hopefully this thing can fly. And um, it's gonna be awesome. Let's just do it, eh? The wing's fine. The fuselage isn't. The motor's fine. So that wasn't that great. I broke the whole front section here. The aileron trim was a bit out and I was getting a bit too fancy trying to make it so you could see it. And I crashed it. But I just had to reprint the front section. It took about eight hours to print the whole front. It was actually a bit more than that. But anyway, I fixed that up. And then I came here yesterday, and let me show you what happened then. So me from yesterday. All right, so I bought the plans, the STL files for this, from 3D Lab Print. They have heaps of different planes, but this is the one that I chose. And um, basically it took two days to print on my Anet A8, which is a Prusa i3 printer. So you print it in quite a few pieces, 12 hours for this wing, 12 hours for this wing, eight hours for the front, six hours for the rear, and and about 10 hours for the for the um, moving control surfaces and motor mount and spinner and things like that. So then I just put my electronics in, glued it all together with CA glue and accelerator. put my 990 kV brushless motor in the front with a 45 amp speed controller. It's running on 3S. It's got four, nine, well they're metal geared servos. So we got elevator and rudder. I just glued the hinges on there as well, put the push rods through. It already prints the sleeve for the push rods, which is super awesome. I put a, like a landing cable tie on the bottom with hot glue, which should stop it from breaking. The wings held on with cable ties, sorry not cable ties, rubber bands. And um, so if you crash, it just pops off, which is kind of awesome. All right. I don't know if you saw that, but my plane's in a tree. It's not very good. Um, it didn't fly very well. I think the CG was totally out and the elevator trim was just really bad and it just flew really badly and there was not much I could do. I didn't want to just go straight into the ground, so I, didn't, I couldn't really turn too sharply, so I'm in the tree. We better get that down. It's actually in one piece, so it's not broken at all. It's actually totally fine, but it is like 20 foot up in a tree. So the wing's actually totally fine. It's just the fuselage that's keep breaking. Just the front section of it. Yeah, so that wasn't that great either. I got stuck in that tree all the way over there. But I got it down and we're here for the third day in a row. Let's try this thing. Now the only thing I want to add to my story of this so far is that the materials for this cost us about $10 of filament. So you can print this whole plane for $10. 
It weighs 410 grams of plastic weight and a kilogram of um, plastic is about $20. So you can make two planes for $20 and then you just add your electronics. It makes your electronics seem rather expensive, but never mind. Let's just fly this thing and see what happens. fine still. What happened there guys was I came down like this and hit the ground, the wing came off, the plane kept going and um, yeah it kind of destroyed the whole underside there which isn't so good. Probably still works. Yep so that's not that great and there's the wing here which you can see is broken as well so the wing's broken unfortunately. All right so it's a pity that this thing crashed but I can fix it the materials for this were only ten dollars i can reprint it it'll take a bit of time but anyway future me will see you here in a bit with a brand new plane let's do it it's me from the future here and well it's not the future now but anyway i'm here with the 3d printed mesh smith again for the fourth time i stuck this all together i didn't 3d print any other parts i just glued all the other broken parts i had together it's a bit of a frankenstein plane the ca glue ran out so i just tipped it all over this thing and you can see it's just coated in ca glue there We've got some reinforcings. This was from the first edition. This was from the second edition. This was from the third. And it's going to be awesome. So you can see that it's broken again in the exact same spot as last time. The wing that I had to glue back together. So I'll fix it up and we'll come straight back. I should be sponsored by glue, no joke. All right guys, so I'm back for attempt five. You know the drill, there's a plane, there's a paddock. I throw it and it lands perfectly and that's the end of the video. And let's throw this and see what happens. So that was attempt five of the 3D printed RC plane and it wasn't any better than the other four attempts. I think you just need to see it. It's pretty bad guys. It's, it's pretty bad. Alright, check it out. I'll bring you down. Look at this guys, look at this. Well guys, this video was going to be called my awesome RC Messerschmitt. But I think I'm going to have to change it to my awesomely destroyed RC Mesh Smith because it is, let's face it, it's destroyed. Everything is just, well this half of the wing has held up very well. In fact, this hasn't broken yet, but the front of this fuselage, man, Jesus, everything, everything is broke. Actually, the tail is fine as well. That is weird. How come it didn't fly? It was flying fine and then it just was like, no. I'm not blind, I just forget it. So I'm back in the comfort of the old Tri-C workshop so we can do the conclusion to this video. I had plenty of time to think about what I was going to say while I was picking up all these pieces. I'll show you what I mean. I'll tell you what, it takes longer to pick up the pieces than it does to fly it. One million and five. Alright, so so far in this old dry sea video, I feel like I've put you off 3D printing your own remote control plane. But that is not the case. I 100% recommend that you get a 3D printer and 3D print this plane. Because it is great fun. You learn so many things. Like you should take glue with you when you go and fly, because then you can... Sometimes you can put it back together, which it comes in handy, right? You learn lots of things about aerodynamics, planes, you never know what's going to happen. You go to throw the plane, it's exciting as, and then you learn something, right? It's awesome. 
you get to build it, which is great fun, it gives you something to do, and you just never know what's going to happen, right? So I highly recommend you 3D print your own plane. Now of course, this plane is an awesome plane. It's a lovely plane. It looks absolutely awesome. I, I printed it in transparent filament so you can see the internal rib, rib structure, which is which makes it look amazing in the sun. You probably saw it at the beginning where it's shiny as it looks absolutely sick. So this plane design, it's 100% not its fault that it crashed five times in this video so far. It's totally fine. It's just a fuselage that's keep destroyed. Ah, oh, see Mesh Smith. Sponsored by Glue. No joke. Not its fault at all. Because I'm sure that not everyone's experience is like this plane sucks. Because actually my first flight was not that bad. Just the aileron needed a bit of trimming. Now what I learned about this plane was the CG needs to be more forward than you think. Not on the CG line, not... The more forward it is the better, really. And I also learned that you need less, less throw on your ailerons, but not too little, because if you have, like, none, it doesn't really fly that well either. I learned that as well. My plane's in a tree. I learned that if, you get, if you're going to crash it, do it close, not a long way away. Like, if it's not flying very well, don't just go full throttle into the distance. I also learned that this plane does fly better going faster. What I mean is, it doesn't fly slowly very well. That's why I crashed me multiple times. I also learned that on your first flight of a maiden plane, you have to fly up high and then, then trim it out. You can't trim it when it's low because it, like I knew this stuff. I just didn't... It helps when you have to totally rebuild a whole plane. You see, that's what I'm saying. And I really like this project. I just want to put it out there that this plane is a good plane it's not its fault that it crashes, it looks awesome, and I don't regret building it. Like I said, you press print, go to bed, wake up, and you have a whole wing to put together. It's absolutely sweet, you don't have to do anything, it's done. And, like I said, I broke this, print it again, hey presto. So that's the end of this Ultra C video, that's all I really wanted to say. If you like this Ultra C video, which I'm sure you did because you watched it all the way to the very end, then give it a thumbs up, comment down below, I'm really interested to hear what you think of this project, I really want to know what projects you reckon I should do, because this was my best idea for a project. If you've got any other ideas, let me know, anything you want, um, I'll build it and we'll have make a video of it, it's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, so besides that, subscribe so you don't miss the awesome projects, but I'll see you around later, thanks for watching Ultra C, bye.